with me, Mansi. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, then make sure you do that right away. Uh, today, the game that we're going to review is a fun game called Long Legs by Chalks and Chuckles. You could shop for it with the goodie bag, who are great curators of fun games, and they also teach you how to play the games. That's most important. Uh, Chalks and Chuckles is a is a company that produces game for Indian kids and makes really really interesting um, games so you must check out their website too. Long Legs is all about teaching your kids addition going up to all the way up to 50. It's very very simple and we're going to take you how you could um, teach them. It's with the contents of the game as we progress. Price will be 400. It's a great game to gift, works for back presents and for kids who are anywhere between the age of 4 to 7. So let's go straight to the product review. So here is your game and it comes in a very very compact box like that and uh, the age of course is anywhere between 5 to 7 or 8 years. Here is your instruction card. the game in a couple of ways. What you need to essentially do is roll the dice and if the shortest player starts, here I got number 3 on the dice so I need to move to number 3. I need to move to number 3. The second player rolls and he gets number 5 so he moves to number 5 on the scale. So if you are looking at children learning number recognition then also this is a great game. The players will keep rolling and keep adding 3 plus 4 so you move up to 7 and whoever reaches number 50 first is of course the winner. The second way that you could play this game is subtraction. If your kids already know how to do subtraction then you start with number 50 and go backwards. So 50 less 4 would be 46. Then the other person rolls is also on 50 and rolls a die. 50 less 3 is 47. Similarly, the player to reach 0 first is the one who will be the winner. For children uh, who are a little older, what you could do is increase the complexity. Is You could even say 3 if he gets 3. So 50 less. Instead of doing 3, you could make double it. So 3 into 2 is 6. So you could ask them to double it, triple it depending on their efficiency of math. 50 less 6 would be 44. So you could again keep changing it like that. The third way that you could actually play this interesting game is each player takes the ruler and the slider should be of course positioned at 0. And what you need to do is the first player who solves the cards. Okay. So everybody is, you have this deck of cards. You keep it right here. Everybody is positioned at 0. And you open the first card add the number rolled okay so supposing we have three on the dice move to the next higher odd numbers so add the number rolled so three two and move to the next higher odd number so whoever solves this and moves their monster first to that number is actually the winner and he or she gets to keep that card and of course the one who gets maximum card at the end of the game is the winner. What this game essentially does is teaches the children a lot of um, spontaneity, mental math and the ability to compete and of course social skills. It's again very easy to carry even if you're not carrying the entire box. Even if you're just carrying rulers, dice and a pack of cards then it's very very simple.